and welcome to Innistig in County Kilkenny. This is probably one of my final vlogs of 2021. So I've created a multitude of vlogs throughout 2021 exploring the length and breadth of Southeast and Eastern Ireland. So I hope you've enjoyed them to date. So this location where I'm at is only about 16 miles away from Kilkenny City and it's made famous by three major Hollywood movies which I'm sure you know at least one of them and they are Circle of Friends, Widow's Peak and Secret Sculpture and just in front of me now is the main village square which was used in Circle of Friends that's actually the only movie I've watched of the three of them which I've mentioned to you so if it does look familiar in any point this is it couldn't have chosen a better day for it because we're in the second week of October now it's a fairly mild autumn afternoon I think the temperature is around 14 15 degrees Celsius so I'm making the most of the sunshine before the dreary weather kicks in And for such a small place, it has quite a lot to offer. It has a lot of quaint buildings, a lovely riverside, of course, the pubs as well. And you've got Woodstock Gardens up this hill and also a hidden waterfall and an old castle, which is also known as a room with a view. So I'm going to show you as much of these things as I can before the vlog is over. You just have to love these quaint houses and cottages and the way they've decorated it out on the outside. Absolutely gorgeous. There's a couple of churches to choose from depending on which side your Christian beliefs fall on. So that's the Catholic side and that's the Church of Ireland Protestant side. And their clock is actually running a couple of minutes slow. But I'll let them off because it's a beautiful clock. Magnificent building too. You can see the ruined structures there from a bygone age. The locals have really taken pride in their village as you can see there. They make sure that everything is colourful. Hello. <laughs> Hi. I was running through here last week and just next to the mermaid gallery as you can see in front of you there's a house there the chimney caught fire so I could see that from quite a distance away and the fire brigade actually came out for it but I think by the time the fire brigade got here it had all been sorted so we're now going on to the area where the river is they've made it into like a mini park as well it is absolutely lovely, especially in this light. So I'll flip the camera around and let you have a peek for yourself. You can see the golden colours of the trees coming through there. And I have noticed of late this year that the trees are actually taking their time going brown because of the unseasonable weather we've had of late. Not that I'm complaining or anything. There is Ezinistig Bridge in front of you, which is where I came in. If you saw the opening footage, and we'll just go under the archway of the bridge and show you what's on the other side. A few people going out for an autumn afternoon jaunt there. And whilst I'm here, I'll tell you a little bit about Innistig. It's a major crossing place on the River Nore, situated at the point where the river turns east as it meets the rising land of Woodstock and Mount Alto. So this is as far as we can go here see a fence just marking the boundary where you can go no further because you've got the river there of course and sometimes you see quite a few cows in that field and you have them going over right next to the weir on that area so it's as if they almost swim to get to it but I think it's shallow enough for them and I don't know if you can see it but way in the distance there just on the hill through that forest you can see what looks like a small castle that's Mount Sanford and we're gonna go to that right now And 
so we've reached the entrance to Mount Sandford, which was the castle you could see through the trees. And over the years, I always saw it and I was wondering how on earth do you get to it? But I think it was the local council. They put up a sign, which is just behind me. And you just saw it. And there's room for about three cars. And I could never figure out how to get to it. And anyone who gave me directions, they were very vague. And it is actually rather impressive as well. You just go along this path here. It's easy enough to find anyway, it's just a single path. So you barely walk down two minutes. You see a bench there in front of you. And there's a sign for a couple of loop walks if you want to have a jaunt in nature there. And this is a part where right in front of us, you take this path and the castle is hidden behind those trees. And there's some information on this notice board which tells you about Mount Sanford Castle, a room with a view. Take a pause to view the rubble stone Gothic folly, probably of the late 18th century. Its large Gothic window frames, a beautiful view of the Nore and the bridge at Inner Steeg. So it's barely another 30 seconds going down that path. And here it is in all its glory. It's a very small castle. They don't call it a room with a view for nothing because look at that as we enter it. And through that window, right there in front of us, you'll see the magnificent view of Innisteague Village, County Kilkenny. Just outside the entrance to Woodstock Gardens and I'm not actually going in there because it is the main stopping point for most people who do visit Innistig and my mission is to show you the lesser known spots when I visit an area, the hidden ones more so, especially when I come across something which I did not know about and I've found it without least expecting. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Innistig does have a hidden waterfall and if you don't know where you're going, it's going to be very difficult to find. But because I'm a nice guy, I'm going to show you how to get here. So basically, you go up the hill, follow the signs to Woodstock Gardens, keep going past it, maybe another mile or so, a couple of kilometres past it, you'll see a wooden bench. That means that it's the first turn on the left, so go directly down there. The road bears round a bit. It's a little bit rough, the road, so take it easy. A lot of the roads are like that in Ireland, not well trodden, as they say. So keep going, and you'll eventually see a sign which says cul-de-sac. Go a little bit further until you can go no further, and you should end up by a little bridge over a stream. So that's where you can park the car, and then, Walk up the path on the other side and it should bring you to the path I'm on now through the woods. Uh, another little stream below me with a couple of stepping stones. So mind those, it's actually very muddy here as well. So take caution. It is a bit slippery too. And just go up the bank on the other side. Then you'll end up at this bridge here. It's a metal bridge, which will give you the viewing point of Woodstock Waterfall, which is right there. And it's the second waterfall we've visited in County Kilkenny to date. There is another one at Kilfane, but that's artificial. This one is a small one. It's lovely, worth a visit anyway. I actually took a photo of it about seven years ago, which you will see on my Facebook page, Roof Photography and Travels. So if you have time, you shall see it there. And casting the camera over to the other side, you can probably see my silver car there through the trees with the bulldozer next to it. That's where I'm parked up. And so that's just about it from me, Rue, here in Innistig. Thank you for joining me throughout 2021. You're probably watching this in 2022 now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also don't forget my Rue Photography and Travels Facebook page. So until the next one, probably sometime in 2022. Have a good week and I'll see you again soon. Until then, take care. Bye.
so I'll just climb through these iron bars as well. Just manage that there and go into this field. And I believe that this is part of Trail Kilkenny and this is part of walking the River Nore according to the sign. So just go through another gate here and this one you don't have to put much effort into closing it. It's a self-closing one and all it is just walk across here some more steps to contend with and into the little park right next to the river Nore.